Hi guys, and welcome to another new game, Yonder, the Cloud Catcher Chronicles. And I, as of this recording, it is July 18th. This game just came out today, and it was yesterday. I actually was on YouTube watching some gameplay videos, and I stumbled across this. I can't even remember. I'm horrible, guys. I can't even remember the video, the person that put up the video. But it was a fairly large YouTuber. Anyways, they had done a gameplay video on this, and I was like, this game looks really, really cool. So... I went right away to Steam and it hadn't been released yet and so I put it on my wish list. I didn't realize it was coming out today. I didn't pay attention to the release dates or anything, guys. That's how I roll. That's how it is. But anyways, I got the notification this morning early and I was like, oh yes, I got the money. We're going to get this game. We're going to play it. I actually wasn't going to record it, but then I thought, why not? It's been a really long time since I've recorded a video where I have not even played the game yet, like my very first time playing it. I haven't even opened it up. This is as far as I've gotten, guys. But supposedly, it is a lot like Zelda meets Stardew Valley. Um, it is an open world game. There is crafting. Uh, there is story, I guess. You have to rebuild the town or something like that. I don't really know a whole lot about it, guys, but it looks really, really nice. The graphics look really, really cool, and so I was sold. It doesn't take much, but it could be at the end of this video, by, you know, playing a couple hours of this gameplay, I might not like it. So that's what happens sometimes, but I have a feeling that this is going to be a really good game. So let's stop chatting and let's get playing. So we're just going to create a new game, of course. Did I not click on that? Oh, it did. There we go. Okay, so, ooh, you get to create your characters. It's so cute, guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so, of course, we're going to be a female. And let's see. We have this look. Oh, this is the skin color. I see. So, we're just going to go through this. And we're going to be this color. We're going to be a little tan today, I guess. Uh, so, this is your hair color. We'll just do this really fast. Oh, we could be a blonde uh, or blue. Okay, so we're going to be this brunette, of course, and we have brown eyes, red eyes, green or yellow green. I can't even tell my colors, guys. Green, blue, and white and purple. We're gonna go with blue. I've always wished I had blue eyes. I don't, I don't know why, but here we go. Let's just play. So. Not too much to customize, just a little bit, but that's still cool. Oh, it's like a cinematic. Our dearest child, it broke our hearts when we sent you away, but it was the only way to keep you safe from the darkness that poisoned our land. When the day comes that you seek the truth, trust in the celestial compass to guide you. Ah, that is kind of like Zelda a little bit. It will lead you far across the sea into darkness and into light, but it will always lead you home. Home to uh, that word. <laughs> I can't pronounce words, guys. Jemia? Jemia? I don't know. Ooh, I like this music. It's very uh, medieval ish, kind of. That's our compass. Oh, do I walk around right now? Oh, I sure do. Look at that shit. Oh, this is so cute. Let's talk to this lady. F or left mouse button. Talk to Jib the Sailor. Let's do F. Do you think you'll find people? Do you think we'll find people living there? I can't wait to try our exotic new recipes. Me too. Okay. There's a guy over here we can talk to. Oh. Looks like your compass is pointing into that bank of fog. Looks pretty thick. I'll, I'd bet, I'd best get up to the bell. So, I guess we go up here. 
no clear direction, but that's okay. We figure it out. We can talk to this guy. Huh. So the legend is true. There really is an island kingdom. I wonder if we'll see any strange new carrot creatures. Oh. Captain, if that compass of yours is right, Jemia should be just beyond, behind that bank of fog. Mm. Are you ready to finally see the island? Yes. Uh, are you ready to finally see that? Of course. Are we supposed to talk to him again? Or are we just going? It's so stormy out. Ooh, it's stormy. Okay, so am I supposed to talk to this guy again? Batten down the hatches and secure the lines. This is getting interesting. Oh no, we're gonna crash, guys. We're gonna crash. What is that? Are we supposed to interact with it? No. Bat down the hatches. Oh! Nope, we're just supposed to let it go, I guess. Oh, no. Fear not, Sprite Seer. You and your friends are safe. You will see you will see them again, but first you have a great task ahead of you. I am Aria. Ari. I am Ari? Aria? Whatever. Once a proud protector of these lands, I've been waiting for you. Please, may I see your compass? What is that thing? R to open. Guiding light. Are we supposed to go up there to her? Wait, rotate camera. Uh, as I thought, a celestial compass. Use it whenever you are lost. That will be a lot. It will guide you truly, but for now, your path is blocked. My family can help you, but they themselves are lost. Find them, and they will lead you home. Now, Sprite Seer, awaken. Your journey has only begun. How cute. So, I guess we just go around and explore stuff. This looks like interesting. Let's go back this way. What's this? Can we hit it? No? Can't interact with it, I guess. So it's nothing. Um, is this the way? What's this? Ooh. F to pick up. You discovered a stone. Okay, so we just picked up a stone. Ah, uh, how exciting. I guess we pick up, maybe we might need these. I don't know. For crafting, maybe? What is in here? Okay. Ooh. The camera angles are a little strange to get used to, I will say. What's that strange blue glow? Let's check this out, of course. Uh oh Ooh. A human. It's been a long time since I've take, talked to a human. All of the people who could talk to me have gone away. Oh, Aww. please take me with you. I don't want to be alone anymore. Okay, we'll take you with her. Discovered Sprite Lumi. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so we got ourselves a little guide. Oh, the way out is just past the Merc. It's bad stuff for you hum humans, though. I'll try to get rid of it, but I am not sure if I can do it alone. Okay, well she opened the way. I guess this is the way we go. What a that was hard. I wish I had my brothers and sisters to help me out. If we work together, I think we can find them. So, uh but I'm gonna go back this way real quick because I didn't really look back this way where we started out. I don't know if we can go in the water. I don't know. You know, some games you go in the water and you die instantly, so I don't know if that's the case with this. But Let's see if there's anything back here real quick, and then we'll go back through that, the way we're meant to go. Like, what was back here? Anything? What's that strange blue glow? Uh, where? What strange blue glow? I see no strange blue glow. Can you go in the water? Oh, you can't. It won't let you. So you can't go in the water at all. That's good. Um, I mean... You know, I wouldn't want to die or anything. Okay, so I'm stuck now. So, okay, so that is, can't go any further that way. So we do need to go back through this way. So here we go. We're going. Oh, it's so pretty. 
Oh, that is so pretty. It's like a little cutscene of the whole area. There's a village over there. Let's go check it out. You really aren't looking the best. I bet we can find some help there. Remember, if we get lost, you can use your celestial compass, which is R. It's useful to map R out your travels, too. Anyways, let's head over to the village. Yes. Merc cleared in the grassland. Seven more to go. Okay. So we now have a compass down here in the lower left-hand screen, um, which is weird because I'm so used to it usually being in the upper right-hand or the lower right-hand screen part, but that's okay. We can make this. We'll be fine. It is now nighttime, it looks like. Look at these little firefly things. Oh my god, this game is so cute. I really like it. How many times will I say cute during this episode? So um, I guess we're meant to follow the compass, well not the compass, like the arrow, uh, the dotted line right there, I guess, is the city. But there's so much out here I want to check. Can we like pick the stuff? You discovered two vine. Oh, awesome. See, I think you need to, I'll be coming out here to craft stuff and everything. So we will, um, so up in the upper right hand corner, it tells us to seek help in Fairmont. See, speak with a master low view in our compass. So this is our compass and this is where it tells us we can click on the guiding light, I guess. Um, I don't toggle details. So that just tells us where what to do, I guess. I don't know. If you get lost, you can use that, but I don't know how it tell like I don't know how to read it apparently. If a villager has a question mark, it means they want to talk to you, of course. So there's a person right here. You discovered Fairmont. Let's talk to Master Low. Hello, traveler. You look like you've been through some hard times. I don't know why I'm using that voice. Please come inside. I can offer you some warm food and a soft bed. Yes. This game, guys, I'm already loving it. The townsfolk warmly welcome you. Once your belly is full and your worries are eased, your head hits the soft pillow and you drift to sleep. Uh. There, that's much better. You look ready to face the world again. Just one more thing before you go. Ever since that terrible accident years ago, Merc has been popping up all over the place, making life difficult. Oh. But the people here are friendly, and we love to share what we know. Yeah. That's good. Ask around, and you'll soon have all the skills you need to make your way in this world. So I mean, I'm assuming these are going to be things they teach us how to do things, I guess. That's usually how it goes. Uh, so we'll go to this guy here. He looks eager to talk to you. Merrick? Yeah. That storm that capsized your boat, it's also destroyed the East Docks. Now that's a big problem for us. Uh -huh. This is a trade guild, you see. Without the East Docks bringing in goods, we're not in any position to help you out. Oh, that's nice, buddy. Mm. Let's see here. Take this mallet and gather some stone for Marina. Eight stone should be plenty to prop the East Docks back up. I already got two guys. I'll uh -huh. need six more. You'll find stone around the grasslands and near cliffs once you've got enough to s deliver them back to Marina on the beach. Okay, so that's our first quest. You have a new tool. Use Q to Q slash E to select it. So you can either use Q. There we go. You have a mallet. Use it to smash some boulders and collect stone. What does E put it away? So you can, does E bring it out? Yeah, so they're interchangeable. You can uh, use either one, and you can use the same one. It's just saying that both do the same thing. Um, so we're going to also, what's this? They look like they have stuff to sell, but I'm just going to go talk to these three people um, that I have to talk to and get the other quest. Then I can do them all at once. Whoops. I guess I'm not. Huh. Oh, hi. I heard there was a new face in town. So you want to learn the ways of a trader, eh? Huh. Well, it's not all just swapping stuff for other things, you know. A trader has to get creative, too. Yeah. Here, go grab me a vine and a three ti three sticks, and I'll share a trade secret with you. I already have the vine, guys. I'm up ahead of these. I'm, I'm on the right path here. <laughs> I already got myself the vine, and I already got some stone, but we just got to get some more. What's this dude want? 
Oh, he's on a table. Apparently, these, that must say the camera, I probably, there's something in the settings, probably I could change. These camera angles are a little bit sensitive, so I probably can change that. I will see. That's better. Okay, so I did ha change the sensitivity sensitivity down in the, in the camera control. Okay, let's talk yeah. to Minnie. I hear you're in need of a roof over your head. Well, you're in luck. I don't know why I'm using that voice. This <laughs> It's an older lady, I guess. The old farm, I'm going to stop right now, guys. The old farm in the south field was abandoned when the merc appeared. Mm. If you can clear the merc, you're welcome to the farm. I'd love to see the old place patched up and running again. So this is a lot like Stardew Valley, where you get you clear up a place. It's a lot like uh, Harvest Moon. I love the Harvest Moon game, so I'm a big, big fan of that. So I think that's why I'm going to love this game so much. So you get to clean up. You clean up the farm. You get it. And you're probably going to get animals, I hope. Oh, guys, this is this is awesome. Uh, so let's Ooh. hit enter. Then take this axe and gather some materials to fix up the place. Need 16 wood and 5 stick. I don't have any of those. So Ooh. the farm is in the south fields through the big tunnel. You can't miss it. So the first thing we have here is I wonder if uh, these cycle through your uh, whip weapon or your yep. So you when you hit the Q or the E, it goes through all of like there's my hand, there's the X, there's the mallet. So it cycles through them every time you push on it. That is good to know. We're gonna go gather ourselves some wood and uh, let me get my axe out. What's the sparkling at us here? Let's pick that up. I discovered a stick. How lovely. We need that. Uh, this looks like there was a stick right here. Can we pick this up? Yep. So we've got two sticks. We only need three more. Oh, we can chop this tree down. But that's still pretty right there. We're not going to chop the trees down in town. We'll come out here. And uh, who's this lady? Just a, a villager, I guess. Um, and I think this is where we got vines, but we don't really need vines. We're going to chop some of these trees down. It looks like there's some sticks right here. We'll pick these up. What's this? Ooh, you discovered a, a sprout. Ah, we got a spotted brown cat. One cat found in the grassland. Eight more to go. Okay, so apparently that's like a side quest kind of thing. So we're going to chop this tree down. So you, I don't know why I have, to, I have to use my mouse to do this. So we got to... Um, Oh, you just run into the stuff to pick it up. And then let's chop this down. So we need to clear the murk. Oh, here's a big tunnel. Here we go. Here we go. This is where I think we go. Okay, what's this? Did I just pass something? Oh, it's just a nothing. <laughs> it's just a nothing. So we have to clear up this murk. By cleaning up, I guess. F to clear murk. To purify the murk, you must see must use sprites you have found. Oh, we haven't found but one, so I have to find another one. Uh, so we need to go to Marina, which is on the beach. She is on the beach, so it looks like I'm to go this way. I'm out. I'm horrible at finding, uh, following maps. Just horrible. Cause look, I can't even follow this map. I discovered an animal. What's this? Oh, he's so cute. Look at there's more. Can we make them our pets? Okay, so this is not the way. When you see a villager with a check mark, you can talk to them to complete your tasks. So I'm wondering, guys, before I turn this in, I just want to say how the colors in this game is they're kind of muted, like grayed. Um, so I'm wondering as we repair the town and it comes to life, if the color doesn't come back a bit more, is more vibrant, because right now it's pretty dull. And I'm wondering if I go into my options, let's look at our visuals here. Uh, there's nothing in here that really... Uh, Everything is up all the way. It doesn't, there's nothing that changes, you know, that coloring. So I'm thinking it's the game. So that would be a really cool thing where everything's kind of grayscaled more. And then as you repair the town and bring it comes back to life, it gets more vibrant in color. That would be cool. I don't know if that's going to happen. I'm just, you know, speculating is all. 
Okay, so we're going to talk mm. to Marina. And this goes here, and that goes... Ah, hello there. Oh. You've got everything I need to finish up. Sure beats me trying to piece it back together with driftwood and crab shells. Oh. It'll be done in a jiffy, and trade will start coming through to Fairmont once again. Quest complete. So we have now a docks that trades can come in. You discovered East Docks. So if I talk to her, can oh. she, does she do anything? Things are running smoothly and trade has resumed for Fairmont. I bet Master Lowe will be happy. So I guess we'll go back to talk to Master Lowe. What's that? Radiant blue gold. Yeah, what is that? It doesn't let me do anything. Oh, wait. Being stuck in there was a real drag. Oh, it's a sprite. Anyway, let's shove off and get me stowed in that backpack of yours. So we found another strike sprite. I can't talk, guys. And uh, so that's cool. So that means we could do clear the Merc. But we're going to go back and talk to Master Low real quick. Oh, well, you know what? Let's go clear the farm. Let's go do that. Um, because we're going to probably have to end up talking to that lady anyways. So we'll just go back here. It was right over here, I believe. Clear the Merc. Accept. So, we, yeah, we need to go back to that lady. So, this looks like this is going to be our possible farm. Oh, she's right here. She came to us. Oh. Or is he? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, hey there. I'm Bushel. Minnie sent me to help you out. I guess it is. Oh. Okay. I'm a dab hand at repairs, and I know a thing or two about running a farm. Now you're, you've cleared the Merc, let's roll up our sleeves and patch this place up. Yes, we've completed another quest. Old McDonald it had a farm. <laughs> Resident farm, none. Oh, this is cool. F Southfield farm, 20% ra farm rating. 20 f I comes from cleansiness because we cleaned it up. I see. Congratulations, you have your very own farm. There's a lot of things you can do with a farm. Ah. Here, I'll give you some farm items. Let's get started by placing a large animal pen. Oh, we do get to get animals. Ah. <laughs> Once you've crafted the large animal pen, use the big book on your farm to place the pen wherever you like. You discovered a large animal pen. Uh, and a small animal pen. And a fodder trough. And a water trough. Fodder water. Oh, wow. Okay, so in order to open the backpack is tab. So the one thing I, the only, so far, the only thing that I don't really like about this game is the fact that, so I hit tab to open the screen. This is your backpack. But I can't, I hit tab again. You would think you could hit tab again to close it, and you can't. You have to hit escape. I mean, it's not that big a deal, but it's kind of like, mm, you know, I would like to hit the same key, open and close it. It's just nice. Uh, so this is our backpack. This is our clothing. So apparently maybe we're going to get clothing. Um, then there is, like, Harvest Moon, you have clothing as well. Um, this is our key items, and this is our crafting. So this is how we make things, apparently. Carpenter, constructor, tinkerer, brewer, tailor, and master. I like this. This is very awesome. So we need, this tells you, if you click on it, it tells you what you need. Um, still, you know, I don't know. You probably have to have, like, a stove and things, I would think. Uh, this is our collections. We've got two, uh, lock and Lumi. And then this is our journal. So guys, this is the point in editing that I discovered I had lost the very end of my gameplay here. Uh, totally just gone, so OBS obviously quit and I didn't notice it. Um, but basically, I had just set up my farm. And uh, so the next video that you come back to, I already have the farm established and you'll see it from there. So sorry about that mess up, but that's all I've got for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.